I'm a little bit emotional about it. Mm. Call me Emma the Mua. Thank you. You guessed it. It's the 12th of May, baby. It's my birthday. It's my first birthday as a mom. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit emotional about it. I am. It's just, it's just crazy to think because this time last year, I remember I was in Dublin and I came home for my birthday. I was three months pregnant. Or was I almost three months? Sorry, I was almost three months pregnant. And I remember all the girls coming to the house and none of them knew. Because I didn't want to tell anyone until I was a little bit over three months, especially because it was the first baby and it was just such a nice little thing to have between me and Kyle. And I remember making myself fake drinks. So I used to always drink like my own Sex on the beach, it was literally just orange juice, cranberry juice and a bit of vodka. So I just made um, virgin ones, so I made like just cranberry juice and orange juice. And I had like four of them stacked in the fridge. And I was just sipping on them all night and they were like, you're not getting that drunk. And I was like, well, I'm drunk. But um, it's just crazy to think that now I have a little four month old. It's wild, but yeah. My first birthday as a mama. Love that. Love you too, Spot. So Kyle's home. But he's making me stay upstairs because he wants to do something downstairs. But he came up with my favorite coffee. Mm. Nothing beats that like first sip of coffee in the morning. You literally can't. Yeah, so he's downstairs doing bits. I'm excited to see what he has in store for me. Okay, so I'm about to go downstairs. Who's? Make a wish. Good morning. Me, Kyle and Cree have just gone out for the day. We're at a little cave, it's so nice. And it's Cree, Cree's first time at the beach, so it's a special little memory. I'll show you. It's so pretty. It's literally five minutes away from my house and it's the first time I've ever been, which is crazy. And the water is actually just so blue. It's amazing. It's really nice. But I was out last night with the girls for my birthday. So this is just perfect today. It's a nice air, a nice airy day at the beach. And we got Are you getting ready for his day at the beach? Mmm, beach day. This is the first time at the beach. talking about how excited I was for college to be over and it's officially I'm done it's officially over guys to tell you like 
walking out of that college knowing I would never see it again was actually the best thing ever. That's something else. Like, why? Why did I ever put layers in my hair? Speaking of layers, I'm thinking about cutting my hair up short and let, let me show you. Like that kind of vibe. This kind of, I don't know if you can see. I'm thinking of doing that. But I don't know because I cut my hair up short before and I actually regretted it so much and it took ages for my hair to grow back. Like I'm only after getting a little bit of length back to my hair since having Cree. My hair got like really healthy and like thick, like I have thin hair. My hair got like really really healthy and thick but now. As you can tell by this hair and she's falling out she's falling out the shorter the hair the like i don't know it looks healthier and it looks thicker short hair is just calling my name right now even though i asked the girls and they were like it was 50 50 half of them were like oh my god yes and the other half were like emma you're just gonna be complaining about it like i'm a long-haired gal like i love i love extensions they're like you're just gonna be getting extensions so like what's the point but i'm like cut her up if i do regret it i can just get extensions Shh, don't tell the girls um no yeah i'm really thinking about it to be honest but um i actually came on to talk about the previous video the previous clip sorry because I feel like I didn't really give you much context to what was going on but basically it was my birthday and I had to stay upstairs because Kyle was decorating downstairs and like making breakfast and he didn't want me to see why he wanted it to be a surprise so that's basically why I was upstairs and couldn't go downstairs and I was like I'm allowed to go down now I was trapped upstairs almost 12 that's why i look like deranged it's because i'm tired the bags the bags can we talk about the bags but you know what i think that's normal when you have a baby and he's being wild recently. He's literally such a little boy now. He's crazy. Like, he needs constant, constant attention. He's so funny. At night, he gets a little unsettled after his birthday. He'll get up at, like... He used to get up at three for his first bottle. But recently, he's getting up at, like, half one and... Just afterwards, he gets so, like the past three nights, he's been so unsettled after his first bottle. I don't know if it's like sleeping regression or what, but um, yeah, it's not nice to see. He's just upset and there's just nothing you can do except cuddle him and give him all the kisses. Hey, so it's that time of the video again. It's quote time. Actually, before I get to the quote, let's have a little chat. I decided today that I'm going on a coffee detox. So I haven't had any coffee today, which is not like me. Um, I decided to go on a coffee detox because for the past like three and a half days, my belly has just been up the walls. And it's like just so crampy or something. I don't know. I'm thinking now, obviously, I don't know, but I have a gut feeling that it's the amount of coffee I'm drinking. Mm. Like I'm really heavy on coffee. I could have I could have six mm. a day. I'm not even being dramatic. My phone is jumping. 
um, that's what I'm putting it down to. I'm putting it down to coffee. We were traveling down from the north yesterday, so I had a coffee in the morning. And because we were packing and just on the go, that's all I had. And it was around 2 o'clock. And I got this really bad pain in my stomach. So I was like, ooh, what could this be? And I'd only had coffee, so... I'm thinking it could be coffee. Or it could be... No, it can't be because I was going to say it could be coffee on an empty stomach, but I've rarely have coffee on an empty stomach. That's a lie. The first thing I have every morning is coffee. But then I have food afterwards. Yesterday I didn't though, but I've been having it for like three and a half days, so it's not, it's not coffee on an empty stomach. It's 20 past eight. Cree is out for the count. I was um, putting his jammies on him and he literally just can't. He was like, out, out cold. I had to like dress him while he was asleep. It was so cute. Um, Cause he's a nightmare to dress these days. He's literally a nightmare. You can't dress him, he'll scream. He hates getting dressed. So it was just such a treat that he fell asleep and that there wasn't a peep out of him. Um, yeah. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's get to the quote. Um, so this one, this quote hits different, to be honest. Like this quote, she's a good one. Um, are we ready? I don't think you are. No, we're ready. Okay, so be the person your dog thinks you are. Simple yet effective. I think she's good. And the quote was by John W. Stevens. John knows what he's talking about. Like, it's so true. Be the person your dog thinks you are. Are they not just brilliant words? I think they are. Your dog thinks you're the nicest, kindest person in the literal whole world. Be that person every single day. You know? Or try to be that person. I know, obviously, sometimes things, we have like stressful days or things are just hectic and we might come across a bit moody or, you know, you know yourself. But... As long as we're trying, what else can we do? So that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you again all next week. Actually, I forgot to say, I'm not wearing foundation. Let me give, let me give you a closer look. Ignore the bags. I know that's what you're looking at. Just ignore them. We had a conversation about this. Okay? Like... I'm not wearing foundation. I'm just wearing the flawless filter and then the tiniest bit of concealer under my eye. And bronzer, blush, mascara, a lipstick, and uh, refi brow. Call me Emma the Mua. Thank you. No, but all jokes aside, for like a no foundation look, I look caked. And I'm not mad about it. Also, I was telling you about my short hair dilemma the last day. I'm really thinking about getting it done and I think I might get like lighter streaks down the front. But then I've, I'm have i booked in for a haircut in two weeks time. But I'm not sure if I'll get it then because it's 
the day before Cree's christening. So if I hate it, I'll actually cry. But I don't know. Also, Paula the Pimple, she's gone. She has evacuated the building. She got zit creamed and she got, what are they called? Those little pimple patches. She got zip creamed and she got pimple patched. Patched. Pimple patched. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now because I'm just a bit out of control.